Reap. Can you hear it? Welcome to Relay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first, before I get into my intro, let's make sure that I have audio, which I do. How about how about our, our friendly guests? Hello. They have audio. Excellent. We're one step ahead of normal. Um, hello. Who's too loud? There's the question. Someone's yes, always going to be too loud. someone's too loud. It's probably me. Always me. Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This week, as opposed to a humorous intro deftly worded by yours truly, you get a fever dream. Kangaroos with rocket launchers that fire sharks with Shiver's face. An amalgamation of sentient spiders that forms Nakara. Just him. He is the spiders. But they're really, the really web of lies polite. Weaves. They're really polite spiders, and they're each riding a moose. Each spider is riding one moose, and it's a full-sized moose. It's really weird, and I don't know how it works. But I feel also, like this is an Aragog-sized spider. No, they're normal-sized spiders riding normal-sized moose. How can you see the spider, though? Fever dream. Oh, okay. Really good magnifying glass. <laughs> also, the storm has joined us this week. Frigid and powerful like a ligar. Are ligars a thing? Are yes. ligars... Jesus Christ, you wasted a... Re you could have said, Winters is coming, but she is here, <laughs> known as Stormy. I could have, but that would have been good. Um... Maybe David thinks that's very cliche. It's never stopped him before. <laughs> it hasn't, but normally I'm... <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm really sick. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I'm really sick. Have you had to determine why he's here? I don't know why I'm I here. He's here. <laughs> but, uh, hey. Because so... he can sit on the job. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's time for the relay station. Are you scared yet? <laughs> um, yeah, that, that was, I think there was more to the intro, but I'm going to stop it now because. That's because we interrupted you way too much. It's true, but I'm really, I'm, I'm kind of used to that. Uh, how, how is everyone else doing? Shiver? How's, uh, How's how's the little guy hanging off your microphone doing? I don't know. I don't see a guy there. Oh, just your imagination. Oh, nothing here. That's that's really weird. Be a shit ninja if you could see it. <laughs> Nakara, how you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Stormy. <laughs> Stormy joined us. With like 12 seconds of notice because someone was supposed to come on and then didn't. And we were like, Stormy, please save us. And she did. So hi, Stormy. Thank you for coming on. More like she was like, can we go out on a friend date? I'm like, sure. What are we doing? You want to come on the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> That's a horrible date. Sure. You're the worst. <laughs> Near enough word for word, to be honest. <laughs> <clears throat> Yes, it's a friend date. Also, I'm bringing along these other two jackasses. <laughs> oh, they happen to be my friends, too, so... Aww. Um, how's, works out. how's everyone in, in chat doing? Um, I hope that none of you are as sick as I am. I feel like everyone's and getting still drinking cold. beer. Still drinking beer because this is an... I'd tap that Pilsner. Nice. So if things get super weird because it's all of a sudden mixing with the cold meds, we know why. Yes. Yeah. I did just take some new cold meds. I'm hoping they'll settle things down. And now some beer, which, uh, you know. As I understand it, the pollen count is so high in America that meth uh, growers, builders, the people who make meth are trying to reverse it so they can get their Sudafed back. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cookers? <laughs> ah, oh, man. Um, Meth men. Yeah. Meth men. 
Meth Men. It's a new series Meth. from HBO. But they're all saying chemists, but I'm not sure if, you know, it, it, legit chemists are sat at home going, don't associate me with them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't associate us with... I mean... Meth I don't even know how don't. to make meth, so I can't really... Uh... Hey, Mr. David. Yeah. Uh, is the uh, is the bot like doing stuff? It, he's supposed to be. He's up. Cool. Yeah. Yep. He's he's there. Excellent. I I was uh, prescient, um, conscious, um, something enough to turn him on. Oh wow! Yeah. Did you also remember to record? I did. I did hit record. I did. That doesn't matter. It's not like you've uploaded the podcast. I haven't. You know, I've, oh, God. <laughs> it's just been like two weeks of hell. Anyway. Let's all just rag on Eris. Oh, yeah. poor <laughs> shiver. Let's get on him. And you look like shit. And you didn't do the wave for Flint. Uh, uh, now trying. you've got to do a wave because Noscavian gifted a tier one to Mr. Square Peg. Okay. It's like your arms are broken. It's like a. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Stevie Madman. See, you oh should my be God. ill more often. I don't want to be ill more often. This is this is actually the longest time I've been ill in years. It's well, really messing with me. Just wait till baby Eris comes, because then you can never be sick. Because then you also have a mini human that is also relying on you to feed them and oh, I know. keep them clean. Believe me, I am. I know. That I know. Terrible. I can't wait. Um, okay, so you're all here, and we're all here to talk about Star Citizen. Wait, what? Um, uh, Biggest shit. news of the week. Nothing 3 .5 happened. Is live. 3.5 is live. Uh, yes. I did, I, I will say, I sat down this morning, booted up the launcher to try and play, and wouldn't update. Yeah, Still wouldn't update won't update. So, so, I'm like, well, <clears throat> I wanted to update it. I wanted to try out 3.5, but I can't, so I'm... Finally, after like eight tries, I figured out that if you go to like the verify game files thing, it will actually update. But that's after I uninstalled the game, so then I have to reinstall the game, and that's just... Oh, wow. that's you, Cass. That's, that's Cass upstairs. Yes, Which uh, floor? that's through one entire floor of the that's, house. You that's an appear. entire floor, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm starting should... to see why you get ill so often now. You should try being in a car with that next with to you. Her? <laughs> Handy if you're on a sailboat. There's no wind. You should just start opening the window every time she's about to sneeze. <laughs> that would um, be mean, though. So, yeah, I... Probably a lot of people were able to update to 3.5 fine. I couldn't. It just... Like, the, the launcher itself updated, and then it sat there being... So, what you're telling me is they're discriminating against Canadians. Yes. It's... It's saying 3.3.6, launch game. And I'm like, I, I, I guess I haven't updated in a while, but like. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look at some fixes, you know, after this. I also don't want it to start downloading while we're streaming because exactly. that might, uh, you know. Cause an issue. Mm hmm So, um, what else... What else is new in Star Citizen Land this week? Uh, let me see if I can pull well, something up. Ooh, there were a couple things I sent you. Yeah, I'm uh, going to work on grabbing them, actually. Can I just do this? Because we were prepared for a different podcast with someone else. Yeah, we were. That didn't we were, happen, so yeah. We were prepared for Normally something else prepared. entirely. Mm -hmm. I came on with less information than the person who's supposed to be here, so I'm just filling in. It's like the Thank you floor. very much. How are you, Stormy? We haven't seen you all year. Oh, no, it's not been a year. Well, for all of 2019, you haven't been on, have you? I don't know the last time I was on. It's been a while. been busy. 
Look, it's fish person. Hey, fish, fish person. person. <laughs> I'm going to shoot a lot of you out of space. I'm sure okay. for three fifths of a second I saw something else. No, couldn't be. Well, uh, okay. Definitely your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to point out that this guy reminds me a little bit of the alien from Alien, because look at his chest. He's got uh -huh. a little baby alien in the middle of his chest. <laughs> um, one, I hope that the hair is, um, like... Live? Yes. Like Medusa live? Yes. Um, That'd be so awesome. And they can weaponize it? My, my biggest thing <laughs> looking at this guy is he just looks like Voldemort with no nose. <laughs> It just reminds me of Voldemort. It looks like a that very such a um, mutated movie. version of Voldemort. But uh, see, I'm, have you seen the decent Hellboys one and two? Yes, I have. I love. You know them. the fish guy in that. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I love the fish guy in Hellboy. Yeah. Oh, oh. I can't remember his name. Astro Pub Paul. Don't even. This is the worst podcast in the world right now. I'm so sick. Um, Abe Sapien, thank you, Desmarius. Hey, I just said that. <gasps> Des Did you? is here. Oh, you're even listening to me. My God. <laughs> Des is hey, here. I haven't seen Des, Des for like three weeks. I haven't. Hi, Last Des. time I talked to him was like beginning of March. That's it. Star Citizen <laughs> podcast is canceled. This is just us saying hi to everyone in chat. I thought you were going to say it's the Desmarius News Network. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there, there, there's that too. Hi, ghosts. Hi, Miles. Hi, Flint. Hi, Super 5. Hi, Desmarius. Hi, Bryce Serena. Hi, Carbide Edge. Hi, Paul. Hi, Nascavian. Hi, Dan. Hi, Mephit. <laughs> Don't forget Stevie Mapman. We're not that high, are we? There's 40 people. You might not be able to get to everyone before they all leave. Hi, Kenny. Okay, I'm sorry. Just, I, I, I can't remember who it was because now everyone's joined in on this fucking joke and has said hello to you, and I've lost who said it. But someone, I think it was Pappy Boyington, said the Vandal are looking less and less scary. And I can see where he's coming from, because do you remember the first time we saw them? They were these really fucked up, big, powerful things. And now they've sort of, I don't know, that they've... I wonder if I've got that somewhere. Didn't they have, like, some iridescent patches on them? Like, glowy light patches? More, yeah. I, I know this sounds really stupid, but they, I think they look more realistic now. More realistic, maybe, but honestly less threatening like mm. they look i don't know they've gone a little bit too hollywood monster well okay i i feel like the jaw comes back so far that like it's got a problem with those teeth it just doesn't i don't know i i feel like it could kill someone with that oh, chin Vandal though youth, maybe yeah like if you headbutt someone with that chin you're gonna punch a hole right through their forehead Possibly. Yep. If you had teeth that sharp, why would you bother headbutting? You could just munch everyone's face off. <laughs> I wonder if Hollywood or Bollywood. I would quite like to see them do like um. Are you gonna domesticate one just dance. for that reason, Shiv? Yeah. Ironically, I can you just can you remember something for me? Twenty eighteen, June twenty third. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just okay. For for when? Like five seconds from now, or an yeah, hour? Yeah. For like five seconds from now. If I can, no. Yeah, see, oh, Flint put you, it Flint. in chat. He's got oh, thank you. Because she uh, was like, I forget already. <laughs> I didn't forget. I keep wanting to put Will a post-it note and a pen next to me so I can write these things down that I forget. I keep forgetting to get. So we the saw pen this this face of theirs in June 2018. Very similar. Very similar, but like it's got more. Outside Teeth. spiky things. It's Killer Croc from the Arkham series. Yeah. With Ferengi teeth. <laughs> those oh, are yeah, those that's... are some serious. Those are like Ferengi teeth on steroids. Am I wrong? No. Shiv and I are watching DS9 right now, and it's all about the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Croc's in every episode. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> 
And then, yeah, that's all I've got in my Rawr. in my back catalog of stuff. But no, I I do think that they look a little less scary now. Um, they've toned I, down the cheekbone ridges. Mm -hmm. If they're going to make them skinny, I think it would look more intimidating if the bones were more visible. They look Protruding almost. Mm. Like, um, there's a frog that when a predator bites it, its bones break through the skin and stab the predator that's bitten it. That would be cool. If, if the vandal could, like, break their bones out of their skin and... I don't know, I'm just... I'm okay. just... I mean, when, when they're developing the character, whoever, you know, whoever's desk it lands on, they do or should be thinking, you know, well, what planet has this creature evolved on? How has it come to be top of the food chain? What, what yeah. would it be a predator of? And so on. So they should, they sh that should have been thought of and taken into account. I'm glad they've made them less... Um, for a while, they were extremely gaunt. Mm. Like, insanely gaunt. And I'm glad they got rid of that. Well, but the one thing about them being skinnier and having more b bones protruding is, I think, along the lines of survival. If you have, like, yes. a fat animal coming after you, that thing is well fed. But if mm -hmm. you have some skinny, bony thing coming after you, you know it's going to kill you because it's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it has to eat now. Yeah, it's Did like... look at the concept that Dan posted? Yeah, I'm, that, that, I'm bringing it that up looks right now. majorly badass. Got a predator mask. Yeah, we haven't seen them with actual equipment on either. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing is, didn't they have, was I right? Didn't they have originally bioluminescence on them mm -hmm. just like yeah, that? That's what we're showing here, yeah. And, and hopefully they still have it, but... So with the bioluminescence... Where, like, if you look at the current, you can't see anywhere that where that might come mm -hmm. through, though. Maybe so they might just, have canned that entirely. It might show through when they're, like moving and angry and that's something. possible yeah. we'll see i it's hard just to to, to There's say because too many this on that to actually render it though yeah you notice that yeah it's way too there, much there's a lot going on on him and that's probably why it was simplified down because that's like you can't render that <laughs> not in the game not with like a hundred of them yeah well, maybe even with not so much the lights on the arms, but even if they just did it to the core of the body, mm -hmm. like totally. that would be really neat. I, I think that's a, a fairly easy effect to uh, accomplish. So I hope that they do show it. Maybe it could even be like differences between um, like ranks. There's there's one one disappointment I actually really have about the Vanduul and us knowing what the Vanduul look like is. Uh, it's not really a surprise, right? So I'm going to go back to one of my favorite video gaming memories. Um, me and Commander Llama and a couple of other friends were in one of my friends' basement, and we were taking turns playing Far Cry. Yeah. And Far Cry for Far Cry 1, which for, for a fair bit of it is like, fairly standard shooter you're killing people right and you're just killing people and killing people and then you start searing seeing weird experiments places and then eventually the giant far cry monsters show up but my friend commander llama was playing and he was playing all the way through and he was shooting humans and humans and he got to some treetop part and he's walking along on these treetop things and he still hasn't seen one of the Far Cry monsters yet. And he hears something land behind him. And he turns around and it's his first look at it. And he screams. He literally screamed out loud because it was what the fuck just happened, right? Yeah. And we're not going to get that with the Vandal, which is kind of disappointing. Because I think the Vandal just showing up at some point in well, squadron and scaring the shit out of you well Someone to be fair out, what if though, this was a, a, just a youth what what if these are all just 
poxy little grunts, right? The ones they shove in a ship and say, well, you're basically dead on your feet anyway. We don't care if you get blown up. And then Richard. there are these other vandals which are on the floor of the groundwork, which are fucking huge. And then you open a door and then suddenly, ah! Oh! That was yeah, well, me. And I mean, he's also, he's also completely without armor, so... Go ahead, Stormy. Well, you also have to think that when they set out to make this game, they announced these ones, right? And yeah. the way that the community has reacted to not getting information is not positive, right? Is they, we want to see it, we want to see it. So yeah. who's to say they don't have other bad guys that they haven't announced and aren't going to show because they don't want it to be out there for people to then be like, well, you got to show us some progress on this. Well, no, they don't. And, like, and what if they want some surprises in game, including a totally new enemy that they're going to just plunk in some system somewhere and you're just going to bump into them. I, I have been saying pretty much exactly that since, um, what, 2013? I mean, Chris Roberts likes history and the Empire <clears throat> is, like, the UEE is the Romans and the Vandal are, um, like, the, barbarian the barbarians. But what's pushing the barbarians? <laughs> right? Like, something's pushing mm -hmm. them into UEE. Anyway, we'll see. But I, I just, I do hope that we're all right and there is something more, either, like, less wimpy-looking Vanduul or... Well, I mean, the Kursak still exists. Yeah. We believe. The best type of enemy, though, is like a... A little trail, a Furby little thing that you pick up, and you're like, "Oh, it's so cute! I want to take it home." And then it sticks to your face and sucks your blood out. Exactly. It's like, "Oh, I'm gonna take it home as a pet." Dead. And then there's the Hadesians, which are supposedly extinct, but you never know. I mean, isn't that what cats do? They yes. look cute and furry, and then they just cling to you and kill you slowly. Not really. No, that's a baby. Oh, right. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, if you want to do the analogy, you know, when you're pregnant with a baby, it is a parasite. Yep. <clears throat> Plain and simple. Yeah, I'm sure. One that is totally Mrs. worth Aris it. Mrs. couldn't but... attest to that right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been it's been a rough couple weeks. Okay, so we got we got this uh, this image as well. I like this. It's cool. It's pretty cool. Um, I like the top a, wheel one. Just a mock-up at this point. Yeah. I I mean, I kind of hope you get to choose what you want yours to look like. Mm -hmm. Do you think it would be brand-specific, though? I hope I it don't is. Think, I think they will, because otherwise, if you start being able to interchange your displays, it doesn't make it specific to that brand, then. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I see one, like the one on the top left, personally. That's what I said, yeah, the one with the wheels. Mm -hmm. I like the That's middle left. Too. But something like, I, I like, they, they have to have something like this, but you're right, Stormy, it should be brand specific. And yeah. this kind of, they, of uh, imagery will sort of, influence your favorite brands and you'll be like no i don't want this pistol because i hate their friggin ui display you know surely it's going to be swappable or maybe what they're showing is the top line the middle line and the bottom line are brand specific you can pick between those three for that brand something that'd be cool but i i'd like there to be something like this that makes you really like certain brands. Now, there weren't very many brands in Borderlands, but I really liked Borderlands because you had your one brand that just had all of the ammo, right? All of their guns just had all the ammo. And then you had the other brand that it was ridiculous, but when you go to reload, you just throw the gun and the gun explodes and the company teleports a new gun into your hand. Like, brand specific things that made you be like no i don't want to use that brand because i hate that brand right was or that really a thing 
Yeah. Like they teleported a gun into your hand when it exploded. In Borderlands, instead of reloading, you wouldn't reload the gun. You'd throw the gun away and a new gun would appear in your hand. Besides the fact that <laughs> if you had a hand after it exploded, but secondly, what kind of survival game is that then? It's like, here, we're just going to give you a new gun because you lost your old one. It's... Instead of, how am I going to survive now? And that's one of the lovely things that Borderlands doesn't have to care about because they don't have to say, oh, this makes sense. No, they say it looks really cool to just throw your gun away. But like, I don't know. I, I like I like Noscavian's line of thinking. Maybe I want all nine fire modes <laughs> shown at once because I like my UI to be a cluster. Fuck. Oh, mess. You're allowed to swear on here. <laughs> You are. Yeah, but he didn't say that. He didn't. <laughs> yeah, don't put words in anyone else's mouth, Shiv. Come on. And yeah, yeah, Mephit's right. The more ammo you had in the gun, the bigger the explosion would be. So at times, I'd shoot one round and then hit R to reload, and you would throw the gun. That gun would explode, <laughs> and the new gun appears in your head. But just ridiculous, right? But I love it. That kind of like, you want. There are certain brands that you want. Well, and everyone's going to like a different brand, right? Some people will like sniper rifles. Some will like assault weapons. Some will like pistols. Like, it's all going to be specifically what you like to use. Are you yeah. a long Are you going to be the trader? sniper Are on the hill there, them? Sarah? Um, <laughs> to an extent, I really love sniper kills. I'm pretty good at headshots. But I also really, really love the enclosed knife hugs. Knife hugs. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Okay. Let's, uh, uh, let me, wait, where am I? Here. Let's bring this up and let's talk. Oh, that's not great. Okay. Let's, let's give me a minute to get this in higher quality and then okay. let's talk this. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I, I don't know what I'll do. I'll just sort of sit here and stare oh, at the camera. But I don't want to change the image that's in my images thing. Then don't. Let's you can't it. post Can it? you describe uh, the image to us using the medium of dance? I cannot. Um, David, you can just put the image in, right-click on it, and then change the, uh, like, uh, fit to screen or whatever. For that, Shiv. How about you, Shiv? You dance? I can't dance. Metal dance? I can't do that either. No? No. Wait. But I hear that fast cuts are one-man mosh pit. <laughs> Okay, let's bring this <laughs> From up. From experience? There we go. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Yay! That's good enough. We can read that. I okay. can read that. Perfect. Um, so there's not a lot this week, uh, except 3.5 is done. Yay. And uh, play Player Jump version 2 for 3.6 is already complete. And what is that? You guys will have to explain this because I know nothing about the roadmap. I, actually, that's it. a good question. I'm going to go read the uh, description for that one. Um, I'm assuming they're updating how players jump, but that oh, maybe it's something like different physically. entirely. Yeah, I thought I was thinking like light speed sort of thing. No, I think it's like hop, hop, hop. Oh, hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Apparently, this is missing That's some an changes. Pun. Which changes, <laughs> Paul? Pun. <laughs> is there a more recent one of these? There shouldn't be. Paul's saying it's missing a, a couple Stephen changes. That's Madman has noticed. Well, I mean, it's um, from April 19th. 300 variants been completed. We'll yeah. We'll be added soon. One of the things that I really wanted to, to do was get in and try those out, because I really want to try out my 315. Well, only, only the base is in at the moment, the 300i. When's, when are the uh, the other ones being put in? It's any moment. Oh, uh, oh they okay. said they'll be in an interim patch. Okay. They just weren't quite ready. Um, okay. Yeah, all they say for Player Jump V2 is uh, improve the look and feel of the current jump mechanic, including falling and landing with the new animation time warping tech that reduces the number of individual animations. Oh, okay. That's the one where <clears throat> the system itself, if, if you're... If you were walking previously, instead of completing the walk animation because you're about to fall down, it plays the fall animation that fits in with the current stride that you were taking. That one? 
Okay. Is that right? Well, it, I, I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't procedural know procedural animation sure. because that, it's not really procedural animation, but it kind of it, that description gives you an idea. It interrupts the current animation playing in favor of something else that you're about to do. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So rather than just you know, I'm walking, sudden fall. It would be walking, smooth transition to fall. That makes sense. All right. Um, so why? That's you were at the thing. sitcom. They showed it. Uh, Shiver, please, please remember that my brain currently is non-functional. Uh, I yes. don't quite remember. He doesn't remember what he had for breakfast this morning. I don't think I ate. Did I eat anything? That's a problem too. So, um, yeah, uh, Astropub is correct. It looks like uh, Odysseus missed a couple things on this one. Mm. Um, Fired. Yeah, totally. Fired! The player status system, which was in 3.7, has been moved to 3.8. Mm. Um, and yeah, I don't know where the hand-to-hand -hand thing was. Where was hand-to-hand? -hand? Can anyone see that? Was that the next? I think that's the next one, isn't it? Three point seven. Three point six is the next one. That's what I meant. Three point six. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless. Um, <coughs> okay, I totally this can't is, see it. See, yeah. this week is one of those terrible weeks where there's really not much to talk about because everything went towards completing three point five, and it would be amazing if if CIG had some sort of a a uh, show where they'd like in fairness go, you go can't sit there and say there's not much to talk about because they've just finished this and then say to them well you should be doing a show because there's not much to talk about and they'll just be sat there going well Eris made us do this but there's not much for us to talk about there's more for them to talk about there's not much for us to talk about because we could there's nothing technically talk about a lot. Like there's some of these things on here that I go, oh, I wonder if this is going to include this or this is going to include that. Like Which one's that? the players swim. Does that mean I can do the butterfly or the doggy paddle or can <laughs> I float on my back and go like this? Like... We, we did never, we did never uh, discuss, um, you know, the the different types of of swimming. Uh, whether we'll have you know breaststroke, side stroke. Front stroke. Drowning. Drowning. Dolphin yeah. swim. Or even the death animation improvements. Does that mean my guy can die with a flair for the dramatic and do the... That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Get like the Sims death. It doesn't death, have to you be know, a guy they, like, anymore. stumble around for a while. And... and then open your eyes a couple times just to make sure they're looking at you and then die dramatic yeah. again. Exactly. I mean, if we're on the roadmap, can I talk about the ships that are implied in the next patch? And yes, you can. Wait. All right, so I, I find it quite exciting, because I know on the surface, you just look at it and you go, oh, okay, it's not much. You know, 890, that's a fucking huge ship. If that gets in the game on this patch, that's quite an achievement. I don't think it's going to happen. I'd like, I would love to be proven wrong, because that is a big up, and it is a sexy looking ship. You're it's robotic. Fun, it's such an sure, ugly sure. ship. The 890? Yeah, I really don't understand yeah. why people like it. It's hideous. Fair enough. It's a yacht. Um, the Vanguard Warden is getting a, it's getting reworked, and it needs the rework because it's a glorious, gorgeous, sexy ship that should be able to kick ass and take names, but right now it's just kind of taking names and then going, I'll get you later. <laughs> so that, that, that needs work. Um, the Banu Defender... Is massive news, not because it's you know it's it's a single it is big it's news. double fighter, but the implications of the they were doing the defender first, so they could flesh out how the Banu ships and race feels like, so they can then move on to the merchant next and then make that, you know, the archetype for all Banu ships they're on. Okay, so here's here's a question news. for all of you. Here's a question for all of you before we work move on to the next one. How much bigger is the merchantman going to get this time around? Uh, I think they're pretty settled now, because they were you working so? in the interior. Yeah, <clears throat> that's my personal opinion. What do you think, Shiv? I would find it bizarre uh, uh, if it got increased. Bizarre. <laughs> uh -huh. it had its own, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I hate you. Oh, that's terrible. 
Okay. Okay. Stormy, what do you think? About the Merchman? I don't even know what the changes are other than they put a marketplace in the thing. I haven't seen any pictures of awesome. the recent one. So. Uh, okay, so here's another question on that vein. Do you think that the Endeavor will get any bigger when they finally get to it? Why? Yes. Yeah. It, I they thought haven't the thing was yet, pretty massive already. <laughs> it is like, massive so already, but it's only going to get bigger. Especially so if they let the UK make it. All by yourself. Mm hmm. Yep. Best of luck to you, man. <laughs> Thank you. You're going to need at least some help because when you separate that front part to go exploring, you probably want to leave somebody behind. Who says outside. I'm going exploring? You're going to be a hermit in space. What are you going to do on your endeavor? Bless you again, Cass. <laughs> <laughs> Endeavor to explore. I, I, I mean, to me, it's the, got to be big, hasn't it? To me, the true, the true hydrants. goal of exploration is um, new experiences and and new science. And uh, I think that probably the best way um, to to discover new things is um, to crash my endeavor into things like planets. You, you want to get off those things again? Because I no. feel like you need to retool the strategy. Otherwise, no. you're, they're going to be there a long time. I don't need to get off again. I can That's totally it. see Eris like, with some sort of hut created around the, the like remains of his endeavor on a planet somewhere. Oh, like a tent city. Yeah. Yeah. Except with only one resident. Built around an endeavor? Oh, yeah. That's me. 100%. In the middle of the <laughs> desert where nobody wants to be because he wants to be alone. <laughs> Tofu it's, says that's it's not a, how to initiate research. Sure, it is. It's a double blind test in that I blind myself twice and then see what I hit. Until scavengers I find you, kill you, and part your ship out. Yep. Or just me. <laughs> True. Um, see, now that he knows your strategy, he's going to come find you. Shiver let it likes out of the me, bit. though. He's not going to attack me. Uh, hey. <laughs> Depends how poor he is and how much he needs money. <laughs> or just how much of a bad mood I'm in that day. Okay, so what else is there in 3.6 to look forward to? Weapon attachments? Oh! Yeah. Before, before we do, can we Sorry. just quickly touch on um, the Archimedes and... What was the other group yes. one? Merlin. The, Merlin. the two snub... Thank you. The two snub fighters are getting reworked. Uh, yeah. And I had a quick word with Nakara for the show, and I, I wanted to know, do you think that includes uh, docking with the Connie? To which Nakara responded... Uh, no. Uh, ship, do ship to ship docking, which I'm sure that will be included with, is in 3.8. So I basically yeah. made him sad. Is anybody else me. excited for black market economy? Not really. Uh, we'll see. I'm. I still don't know what that means i i so I if you think i think about it this way when you go to a sporting event and you get scalper tickets right you're buying them at a lower price but you're not guaranteed that they're legit yeah so let's say you need a part for your ship you don't want to pay the full brand new price this guy has a really good second used one that he'll pay or you can pay half the price for but it's not going to be covered by warranty if it breaks it just and feels it's like it's it. a, like you go in and it's a buyer beware sort of situation, which mm -hmm. and that makes sense. It just feels like the economy isn't fleshed out enough yet to begin with, and it seems like adding a black market economy when you don't have a full working economy for other things is well, you've got to start somewhere, haven't they? And maybe this is just the first step. And well, maybe it's easier the, for them. Start with the well, full economy. But what yeah, if it's easier for them it. to implement a black market one because there's less rules to it? That's true. And then flesh out from there to a more <clears> full <throat> market economy. I think ship rentals is going to be cool. Ship mm. rentals will be cool. Um, misfires. Then you, rent a, then you can rent an endeavor and crash it into a planet. I, I feel like that's not going to be good, though, because if you rent and you keep 
breaking these ships, you're going to get bad rep on that. They're going to stop renting you vehicles after a while if you're a yeah, you black market. Then. A fair amount of, fair amount of debt. <laughs> or your insurance is going to go up because your insurance is covering the cost of these rentals. Yep. Spe your and your reputation is going to be completely screwed, Eris. Because whenever I rent a ship, I'm just going to say my name is Eris. <laughs> there it is. And then crash it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I was. I want to try and get to here. One second. Wait, why is player carryable? That? Is that like a purse? No, it's um, it's just like they. <sighs> They're improving how players carry things around, because you like can actually like pick up a lot purse. of stuff in three point five, and like, but it's very glitchy. Purse, man, big, fanny pack. That would be funny. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's described as developing the look, feel, and depth of player item handling includes the creation of a carryable tool, setting up key carryable items such as helmets. You can carry your helmet around. Cool. And setting up dynamic grips so the player can correctly hold several types of objects. Can I, I have like a cool. knife? I, I like the law systems in that different areas will have specific laws that they enforce. And I also kind of like the what they're talking about, transit systems version two of Im just improvements to getting on and off transit. And yes. I hope that they take the time to just speed up. Transit. Well, Everything here's here's a question for you then, David, about the the law system. Each system is going to have their own set of laws. How much leniency do you think these people are going to get if they like break laws and they uh, they don't they didn't read up before they landed on planet such and such? I mean, it's probably going to depend on the laws. I don't know. Well, but yeah, like if they have, I see you. <laughs> Stalking my That's background. Some sneaky syrup. Pretty yeah. Much. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, it, but no, if for a first time offender, I feel like you might get off a little easier depending on what your your offense was. But it's just one of those things that that at what point is it like? Oh, you didn't read the rule book. Too bad. It wouldn't fly in real life. No, uh, but yeah, I also understand if Schiff like had to emergency land on a planet and he stepped outside and said something wrong to the wrong person and got arrested. It's like, I've never been here, dude. And I didn't exactly pick to come here. I was forced to. I don't know. There's going to be a lot of so ifs. much. There's going mean, to be. I, I think that's going to be something way down the line. Yeah. If, if that ever gets implemented, I think this one's going to be much more simplistic of you've killed someone in a zone that wasn't free for all killing. You're now wanted. We're going to kill you. But for those people that don't really want to do the research into where they're going, then they're pretty much putting their own fate in their own hands. Because it's one of these things where it's like, oh, I just like to fly around and stop at different places. Yep. And Good then luck. there's people like me where it's like, well, I'd rather stay inside the legal side of it and not accidentally, like, you know, touch a sacred cow that would, like, you know, belong to the deity of the, the planet. And all of a sudden I'm like in real big trouble. <laughs> One would hope that a cheeseburger. One would hope that on you the, make it into a cheeseburger too. Keep in, keep in mind, though, you've got about forty-five minutes to an hour transit time between planet, so you can always <laughs> just open up the the you know the galaxy guide and read up on the planet that you're heading to. Because I mean, <laughs> you got time. It's very true. Unfortunately, you've got time. You've got all the time How in the world. Open Super up, open Serious up. has just said, I always said people should pick a home system and stick to it for a while, knowing the law in there could just pass. Yeah, yeah. That's, but what I'm wondering is, how far out will these zones extend? Will there be a completely different set of laws on the planet to what's in space? Will it matter? W will it be a case of um, this planet is run by Crusader and this section of space around the planet is run by Crusader, but then you're out the borders... And then it's no longer, it's a completely different thing. It's going to be well, like, like international waters, isn't it? 
I was just going to say, like the ocean on the planet here, a certain amount off the coast of every country, like U.S., Canada, Britain, they all have a certain amount of ocean outside of their actual land borders. But anything beyond that is is international. And that's where you can marry that cow. <laughs> that's if you get the cow off the, off the the landmass first. I might just moodle it. Oh my god. Okay, so I hope you guys have asked us some questions. Um, so I just wanted to mention something as well that I'm kind of looking forward to from 3.6. And that is, uh, again, something on the graphics side. Um, planetary ground fog tech. Which could look pretty fantastic. Or really janky. <laughs> Those it's, are usually the options, yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It could be good. We'll see. There's so much. There's so much we'll see. Oh my god. There's so much we'll see. Oh, do we have any questions? Oh, we've got uh, like four we have or five. 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 <laughs> uh, we're gonna need a lot more than five guys. Come on. He yeah. can't sing today. He's sick. I uh, want five guys. No burgers I, and fries and a milkshake. I just actually. That's literally what I just had. I just had five guys. It's amazing. Burger and hey poutine. you. Here's a good point, like just something super serious said. Stanton has four law zones owned by four different corporations. Like that's that's one place. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. The the thing is how different are they, right? The laws themselves oh. might not be that different in each one. It might be the enforcement of those laws. Like Alberta and Ontario what, what if, technically right? have different laws. But they're but not very different. They're not very different, right? For the most yeah. part, you're fine, and it's the the enforcement of those laws in the different, you know? Does that make any sense? That makes a lot of sense. Well, but what that's also true, is on but a... it... Go ahead, Shiv. Go on, Stormy. No, you go first. I was just, just going to say, well, yeah, they might have the same laws, but they might have different penalties for yes. the same law. It's It's the enforcement of them that will likely differ more. What if I'm on one of those planets where it's different law systems, right? And I'm in a system where it says it's legal to murder, but the person who I've just shot at is in a bit where it's not legal to murder. But I was fine because he just... Can I have my bullet back? On the a body? gray zone? Yeah. You know, the bullet went over, but I was fine. I shot it on the murder side, so... Well, Roos I just shot him and then egg. kicked him across... And then kicked him across the border. <laughs> Rooster lays an egg right on the top of a barn roof. Which way does the egg? Why would a rooster lay an egg? Thank you. Someone's sharp today. It's, it's a riddle. And why would he be on? There's top another of one the where there's there's a plane, and Never it's flying why. along, and it crashes. No one died. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the joke killer today. <laughs> Those jokes are older than me. I would like to know, Eris, what cold medicine are you taking now? Beer. <laughs> <laughs> No, I I just took some Tylenol uh, daytime. <laughs> it's a good thing you have a responsible human being home with you right now. Yes, the one who sneezes loud enough to uh, wake the sleepers. See, that's one way she could check to see if you're alive. Just sneeze just right above you so it scares the crap out of you when you're sleeping. <laughs> Are you alive? I'd also like to know, <laughs> Eris, what video game related name has Mrs. Eris agreed to yet? None. I mean, obviously it's going to be Link. I have been trying very hard for Link <coughs> slash uh, Lincoln. Um, oh, if you call them Link and they have ADHD, would that be hyperlink? Yes. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm try I am trying very hard for Link. So far, um, it's not going too well. I'm, I'm trying what for Link she, or Isaac. What does she want? 
I think Ezra. she has to stop thinking of shit names. Ezra. Yeah. Was this kid born I, in the 1940s? It, I I find that one really weird. She's like Link, Lincoln and Isaac are way too weird for names. I like Ezra. And I'm like What? Okay. <laughs> she and also my liked names are Evelyn. Weird. Evelyn was a very lovely name. Evelyn is a lovely name. It's also very, very versatile because you can do a whole bunch of nicknames with that. I mean, obviously, if it's a boy, it should be named Ben Lesnick. <laughs> there you go, right? Carbide Edge. She wants Eris to stop helping. <laughs> Just stop. Yeah, this is one I'll that I'm not. This is one that I'm not going to stop na- helping with, though. My it's, wife and I, yeah, we no. already agreed on our child's name, and we're not even pregnant. <laughs> what Yet. would it be? Hikaru. It's very pretty. After Sulu from Star Trek. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Boy or she girl. also re- yep. got really mad at me when I suggested Quigar. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I would too. <laughs> I, were you in your fever dream when you told her this? No, I've been, I've been, I've got like a list of names, A to Z, and I keep adding more. And uh, <laughs> the cues I'm just using as jokes, like uh, Quaternary, Quinslet, and Quigar. And, uh, <laughs> I, should, I should at least give you props for trying. I like with Quinslet. My, with my kids, I actually had to suggest everything and i just gotta move uh, uh. huh. quasar i should suggest I quasar quasar dev- oh and and of course quirk and quark quirky quirk con i like con anyway uh con yes. with a q <laughs> yes so there i i'm trying for for many names but uh we Bober. we aren't even close on any names yet. It's it's not going. Well, thankfully you have great. some time. Yeah. Well, we're not Queen. not that much time. We have 174 oh, days. That's still enough. As long as you have one when you go into the hospital, you're golden because they yeah. just don't let you take that kid home unless you've actually done the paperwork with the name. And that's how you get to call it Link because. She's out of it. She's unconscious. See, she's I keep, shit, I keep but, saying yeah. that. She's going to be say- too drugged up to say anything. And she's <laughs> like, I'm not drugged up. Do you have any idea how any of this works? And I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. You're going to be too drugged, and I'm just going to say it's Lincoln. <laughs> and and what, Can you, I just you are point it out? for the drugs, so you take them, even if she doesn't want them? Yeah. Okay, let's just point this out. I actually had friends who they couldn't decide on a name. And while she was in postpartum with the baby, the husband went and filled out the paperwork without her and submitted it. It did not go well. (laughs) Oh, no, I can't imagine. Oh, my. So they kept her name because at the same time, it was like, well, I'm not going to pay to change it. Yeah. He he was in a lot of deep for a while. Okay. My niece's name got changed after she left the hospital. What was she originally, if I can ask? Um, so my niece's name is Zeta. Um, the spelling of it changed. It was originally X-E-T-A and then ended on Z-E-D-A. X-E-T-A. <clears throat> Zeta. Cass, yeah, Cass was telling me a story. Nobody would have been able to say that. Cass was telling me a story, I guess it was in the, the news recently, about um, a lady who's suing one of the airlines because... Uh, they made fun of her daughter's name when they called her name. Cause her what name, was her name, Eris? Her name was Absidy. Spelled how exactly? A-B-C-D-E. Yep. You name your child stupid things, stupid <laughs> things are going to happen to that child. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, okay, okay. Sorry, slight sidetrack there. Let's get back to the Star Citizen. Questions. Yeah. Method. Yeah, <laughs> certainly. F G H I J K. Figure cuckoo. Method asks. There was a hint about a new tumbrel vehicle incoming. What do we really need for grand trans gra- ground transport that isn't covered already? An eighteen wheeler. And, 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 yeah. and a crane. 
We need no, a crane. We, we need an 18 yeah. wheeler or like something that will because Chris Storage. at one point they did they did say at one point they wanted um like ground transit for all the road systems that they've developed. Mm -hmm. They were gonna want um big cars that carry things. Well, do you know what I want? A smart car or a scooter. A scooter would be good. Scooter. Segway. With like a pizza box on the back. We need segways. A food worm. Uh, Haramis asks, will there be fishing with spoon lure? S spoon yes. lure? Spoon lure. I, I heard that as lore. Spoon lore. The lore of spoons. What, what, like what you spoon whack it on is a I was thinking you get in the water and you give it a cuddle until it just stops resisting. <laughs> uh, I really hope that there will be fishing with uh, lures and crap because... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What? Uh, nothing. Continue on. I may have some news. But that's what? not specifically Star Citizen related. Anyway, go ahead. What, what's the news? Uh, looks like a, um, yeah, something bad just happened in SpaceX land. What? Um, yeah, I, I can't really see anything. Okay. With authority. Go ahead. Next question. <clears throat> That's the worst. Okay. Ashley asks, uh, how much SCU should purses and backpacks hold? And do they come with LTI? And can they fit a dragonfly in them? Uh, um, oh, I can't wait to see someone trying to see what ship's going to fit in this backpack. <laughs> uh, purses. So, okay. Purses should have like 0.5 SCU, but female pants should have zero. Uh, we're not going with reality here just because they make small pockets on jeans nowadays, which is changing finally. Finally? Jesus. Finally. Well, let me just put my phone in a pocket like that's that deep. It's ridiculous. Anyway, not that I know well, the, the size fair, of female pockets or anything, but. To be fair, the size of phones keep getting bigger too, so that does not help. Yes, even but the pockets phones this big, nowadays. You could never fit anything in that pocket. You can't no, even fit car you can't. keys in. It's like a lip chap, and that's about it. Terrible. Um, backpacks should vary. You should have like really small backpacks up to those big giant things that hipsters and hikers have. How many do you have? None. What, backpacks? I don't have a backpack. I have a briefcase. Oh, man bag. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have a man purse. Uh, feedback survey. Eris, was the five guys delicious? Damn straight it was. <laughs> um, their poutine actually leaves a little bit to be desired. Uh, the gravy was a little too salty, but uh, the burger was just... They do good burgers. Um, I still ooh. haven't had poutine. I've said this before. You know this. I know, but you're still not Canadian. I yeah. also don't like a lot of fat, greasy food. Like, just but, can't eat it. But Canadian. Gelatinous gravy? Ooh. It's not gelatinous. It's delicious. And cheese. Well, it depends curds. where you get get it from. Not all gravy is gelatinous. Yeah, he's right. Uh, Noscavian, with the new flight model, Xi'an ships and UEE ships are supposed to fly differently. How do you think the Banu Defender will fly? Like a Banu like Defender. Like a toaster. I'm. <laughs> well, no serious honestly, answers. No, I'm I'm kind of thinking like a toaster. I don't I don't expect the Banu stuff to fly with agility. I expect it to fly through things. Like the merchantman runs blockades, right? 
The Banu Defender, it doesn't run blockades, it runs through ships. It just punches through them with those arms of it. It's just, it goes in a straight line through anything. That's that's what I expect See, from... as long as the eject system has a lever, you push down with your foot and you pop out like a toaster. <laughs> I'd be all it. for that. <laughs> Looking at the Banu Defender in its profile, I would imagine it was going to be similar to UEE handled ships. That sort of flying style, I can't remember what the proper term is. Whereas the Jean is more relying on the um, uh, lateral thrusters, making, you know, 90 degree movements, whereas the UEE are more World War II-y. Oh, that sounds really good, <laughs> yeah. Miku. World War II-y? I would try that. Um, so how will the Banner, Banner Defender fly differently? Do we think it will fly the same as other UE ships, or...? Who has a Banu Defender? I do not. Uh, Jake probably does. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I... I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what it flies like when it comes out, but... And, and the more important thing is, we're gonna have to see what it flies like eight months after it comes out. Because it's not going to fly right the first time they launch it. Wow. And they're going to adjust it over time. Yeah. So let's see what it flies like eight months from when it launches. And then we can revisit the question. Some of them just fly like bricks from the get-go. And then they adjust after. Uh, Stelic asks, complete speculation question. What's our big ship this year? Some people think a cruiser could be sold. Opinions? Objectively, a smaller ship would make more money through volume. How about the idea of a light frigate? Something between the Polaris and Idris. Did you just say frigate? Yes. Frigate. Protein on the mind. <laughs> frigate. I just had to confirm, and I'm just like, I've never heard that word before. It took me a minute to figure it out. <laughs> Cruiser would be a big-ass ship. If it goes class-wise, that would be bigger well, than the Javelin. And in terms of what is missing out of the arsenal of what they've sold so far, right? Like, Cruiser, everything's just going to be a variation of what they have, Dreadnought, right? Aircraft carrier. Battleship. Super heavy battleship. No, we've got carriers. We've got two kinds of carriers. And yeah. do you know what, though? They like all them. sound super big and super expensive. Uh, oh, yeah. You know what we're missing? But I want to see them. I, I maintain, and there's still something that we've been missing for a long bloody time. We are missing a noodle truck. You can make one, you know. We're missing their noodle truck. You well, need you to be just need to so make your bad. own noodle truck. You so be... bad. Ba so bad. So bad. No, no shiver. Bad. Bad. Bad shiver. We do need like a a <laughs> Benny's delivery truck. Like not like a, a mobile Benny's food truck, you know? Why, why can't you have something like the Amazon delivery and just have one of those vending machines flying around? <laughs> That'd be good too, actually. Like to order, I would like an order of Benny's noodles. Drone drone delivery thing shows up. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Um, Ashley asks, "What you, law applies on, on do truck you think stops? Ships are big enough for that, or would they have to make more ram in them?" Oh boy. Ashley asks, "What law applies on truck stops in interplanetary space? Corporate law. It's the law of whatever company." owns the truck stop you are landing on. Um, Flint asks, it takes one and a half chickens one and a half days to lay one and a half eggs. How long does it take one chicken to lay one egg? Two. Too long. One day? I like how we've we've gone down to math questions. Don't ask me because I'm terrible at math. Carbide Edge asks, Eris, will you place <coughs> those stickers showing your family like people do their minivans on, their minivans, on your ship little... in game? <laughs> I like I like the decals that, that say, I hate your stick family. <laughs> hmm. Um no. I also won't put those 
on my uh, car in real life. I will, however, uh, once baby has arrived, I've been saved. I've actually saved it for about a year and a half now. I've got a a sticker like this that says BB on board with BB8. BB. Aww. And I'm going to put, I'm, I'm putting that on the car. You do know, like, you know, a lot of people think those baby on board stickers are some kind of like, you know, oh, be careful driving because there's a baby on this car. No, it's actually for firefighters and emergency crew. Yep. There's it's almost baby. like those... save the baby first. Yeah, exactly. There's a baby in the back seat. Fuck that. I want to be saved. <laughs> Are you walking everywhere with your baby? I hope so. <laughs> Probably in Japan. I can't read those road signs. <laughs> Oh my! Um, everyone in chat, because you can't do that to us, says Nakara. What happened with SpaceX that you can't say with authority? I literally cannot say anything about it. So, pay attention to SpaceX news. That's all I can say. Enjoy. I'm an asshole. I didn't realize right away that I couldn't say anything about it. Why can't you say anything? Because do you, it's... Do, you do you have like insider knowledge with Elon? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Um, Ashley asks, would you like need more competition on this shit? I'm going to try this one again. Would you like to see more competition of the same ship types? For example, if you want a large scale mining vessel, your only option at the moment is the Orion. Yes. Yes, migraine is starting. Bonus points for causing a migraine? Oh. No, uh, more variation and more competition is needed. Uh, pretty much the one thing that we don't really need, honestly, is more military ships at this point. There are so bloody many. Um, but there's really the not... Is the, there going to be a market for secondhand ships? Hopefully, oh, yeah. definitely, yes. definitely. Especially with the way the whole um, uh, wear system will come into into play. So you'll have ships that are truly old, like you know, the interior is all worn down, and there are pieces, bits and pieces of the ship that haven't been replaced yet that are like old am I as right, shit. Am I right in thinking that that will also change the flight profile of said ship? So I, don't be, I thought it was, yeah, I thought there might be some knock-on effect of that. I think, I think over time, like, like with anything, you should lose a little bit of power in your engines because, just because... Well, and if you've had to replace panels with panels from different ships because you <laughs> couldn't find panels from your ship, then I feel like you're... It started out life as an Aurora, and now it's a freelancer after I've been building on it. I love it. But it's a great ship. the way ship. you get in Cutlass, so I just built on... Couldn't afford one. Oh. I made one. Stick oh. Momo out window and hope for best. Oh... I'm shutting down. Are you? Well, well you only have 20 done. minutes left, man. You oh. can make it. Quagar you can make asks, it. why is the MISC Razor considerably slower than the Anvil Arrow in orbit in Atmo? Bug or feature? Because feature. Arrow was the fastest ship ever built at its time. That's why. <laughs> there you go. When the Razor probably gets looked at for its next overhaul, it'll get tuned again, so... Yeah... Uh, Carbide, you're right. Me doing this was a bad idea. Just really, <laughs> really bad. We knew it was um, a bad idea at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, Full Burger Alchemist asks, what do I need to <laughs> sacrifice in order to open the fry gate? Um, <laughs> Potatoes. The, the, the fry oil. You have to sacrifice the fry oil to open the fry gate. Usually it's quality. <laughs> 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 and you yeah. need a dial home device for that. Uh. Um, 
That was a good one. I liked that. Uh, Industrial Workers Union asks, given military ships are terrible and CIG should stop making them, what do you think the next awesome industrial ship will be? As everyone keeps saying, mid-sized mining ship. Mid-sized mining ship. Here's a question. What is stopping any Joe Schmo from starting up a company and building their own ships? Uh, theoretically, nothing. In actuality, you would have to actually get the devs to make a system in game where you can make a ship. You know what we need? It's something that they said could be done a long, <laughs> long, long, long time ago. The look on Shiver's face there was amazing. <laughs> Why? Shiver has. You look like you're having screen. multiple like multiple uh, light bulb Thoughts? moments at the same time, and you. <laughs> Are are you okay? I was Shiver? thinking of how you could. I was thinking of how you could actually design a ship from scratch and Star Citizen. It's like, well, oh, yeah, you you could do that, or you could do that, or you could do that. If you oh. could nail on plates to replace things on your ship, why not be able to jerry rig to build your own? That would be so cool. Because I feel like it's Most... something. If it's like, oh well, I can't afford to replace half my ship because I have no money. They should have a system where you should be able to just replace pieces of the... your ship. The tech is done in such a way that the bits that you replace will be bits that are easily replaceable. So you wouldn't, in actuality, be able to get um, an entire side from an Aurora and stick it on a freelancer. The game would just say no. But in theory, if they were to give you enough modular pieces, literally the Lego bricks, and then I don't know how you're going to get the code around to make sure said bricks are completely universal and completely or every bit mix and match. In theory, yeah, they could do like that, but... Technically you could, but they'd have to pre-build mm -hmm. the parts that you were put on there. So let's say they gave you a choice of five frames and said, these are all the panels you can put on it, these are all the windows you can put on it, wings, like... whatever, and you could pick and choose between 20 or 30 choices on on. I mean, that's kind of how they pieces. build the ships now. Right. And isn't that what the point of the procedural tech was to make things faster? For them, not for us. It still it still requires a hell of a lot of like art work and making sure all of the pieces actually fit together. Um, well, understandable, but people are wanting all these different sort of ships. But what stops them from saying, okay? Since we can't make everything you guys want, why can't we give you the power to make what you want Penises. so that we don't... Because it would have to be completely built from scratch by the player, like every single bit. And that means that because some penises. group of people have to go into the tech and say... But you'd be surprised how many people would be that. willing to do that, oh, though. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. There are people out there that would love to do huge, it. It's huge. Tech-wise, it's a huge amount of work. They could meet in the middle and say... This is how we build the ships. These are the modules for these ships. You can mix and match the modules, like um, all, all the Connie. Um, but they're not going to. Hmm. Because then we'd immediately make penises. Well, like they're not going reason, to. Of course, they're not going to let you just build something obscene. Um. But I was, I think, a while ago. It must have been like an hour or two ago now that I was going to say. I've forgotten. Um, I was going to say, <laughs> what we need... No, what we need is not, like, just a medium mining ship. What we need is a medium ship that's sort of like the Endeavor, where you can have a mining module Ooh. or a reclaiming module or Ooh. a repair module. Like, go Ooh. back to modular ships that you can actually... So you're talking about a multi-purpose ship. Yes, that's how they build them. Is with modules. Well, yeah, but yeah. but one that for us would be you want, here's yeah here's your medium ship that can take on six different roles depending on how you outfit it. But that's well, that's up no to different you. than the Avenger. Well, yeah. it like, is the Avenger has that now. Like you can build it out to be three or four different things. But it's oh it's yeah, like, it's, not, it's it's the same idea. Is that, is that yeah, absolutely. It's the same idea. It's just the things that it's for. Right? Because, yeah, the Avenger can do troop 
uh, like like prisoner transport and EMP, and the caterpillar can do and cargo uh, cargo and a couple. But like, why don't we have one of those for like the industrial stuff, the mining, the reclaimer, the repair, the salvage, like a, a blank module ship? Yes. I don't want a caterpillar. I think the caterpillar is now, terrible. If memory serves, wasn't that kind of in the initial idea for the Carrick? Everyone was like, this has got no SCU on it. And they said, yeah, well, you see that it's actually completely modular and you choose what the modules do, but it wasn't quite to Originally, your... Originally, five years ago, that was actually in the plans for the Aurora. When they first announced mining, they were like, oh, and you can also just add on a mining attachment to your Aurora and mine in your Aurora. Where the hell did that go? Because that the was... the place that mining with the manually went down the, the line. dark space of oblivion. I want to be able to do more things with less ships. Stop making us require 500 different ships to do things. Give us, you know, a ship that can See, do a bunch of don't. stuff. You don't really, because in terms of someone like me who doesn't need a ship for everything, but I've got buddies who have other ships that need help that do the things that I might want to do, but just get a cut of the profits and all I need to do is help out a bit. But I want one for just me because I don't have buddies and I don't like playing with other humans. Oh, aren't you adorable? I was going to say, Shiver has so many ships that are too big for him to fly by himself because I said, I'd help. I'd help. But, but I play in the 12 minutes of free time that I have. Which, one, makes it so that I, I already can't go from planet to planet. So I'm going <laughs> to be stuck on one planet for the entirety of my star citizen career. <laughs> How are you going to report the news? Very poorly. See, I get where you're coming at from David. I don't have a lot of time either, but I do set aside time specifically for myself once in a while. And I make friend dates say, Hey, you want to play some DRG tonight? Let's play for an hour or two. I have yeah. some time tonight. I'll set it aside for me and my friends to play. And I, I try to do that occasionally, but even when I can, it's like, okay, I've sat down. I've got 32 minutes that I can play in, and then it's bedtime. Mm -hmm. I don't, I... Don't sleep. That's a solution. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's... that's <laughs> turn turn, I haven't turn been into shiver. <laughs> I haven't slept for two weeks, and look at me. <laughs> you look healthier than ever. <laughs> <laughs> that's the beer talking <laughs> it's given him his, his healthy complexion <laughs> Ashley asks when do you think we will see Tessa again I miss her don't Ooh. all come at me with the answers um, when will we see her again I think they were talking to the, the uh, voice actors uh, and they were going to try and get her back in to actually record performance capture. Um, so, eventually. That's a really accurate answer, hey? <gasps> Ashley to also be asks, determined. Oh, can I have a look at that shirt you're wearing, please? Stop. My shirt? Yes. This is what Ashley asks, not myself. <laughs> Escape. Nice. Um, Eris Sings asks, it looks like we're running low on questions. Time to start singing. Uh, he can't sing today. He'd pass out and die. That is true. I that mean, is a true fact. Because he can barely just draw enough breath to stay alive. Ashley asks, do you think you could let your character uh, catch a Starliner while you as a player are offline? No. Probably not. They've, they said recently that you can't, uh, and I believe I had a couple rants about that because I find that to be completely and utterly bullshit. I um, find it completely and utterly bullshit that you're, you should be able to do any kind of interacting with your character that's offline. You want to I've, play the game, you get online and you play the fucking game. Yeah, you know what? And you don't get to play. Which is complete and utter bullshit because it takes 412 years to go from Only planet to freaking planet. Only you as a filthy casual planet. would say that. 
Okay, so I'm, say again, I'm, what are they talking about? It's like as in you can do stuff with your character when you're not signed in. I yeah, want to be able I want to be that. able to be at home and you are like, "Hey, it's Friday. We should get together tonight and play some Star Citizen." I'm like, "Where are you?" "Oh, I'm on Terra." Oh, I'm over on Mars. It's going to take me four hours to get from Mars to yeah, Terra. So we can't play tonight. Sorry. Isn't the solution to that Agent Smithing? Which, where is that? Well, I didn't, they, I thought they recently said they weren't going to do it, but. Oh, really? They've taken, oh. Well, I know. I just, I'm, that was my most recent recollection. I could be totally wrong. We don't know oh. where Agent Smithing is. We haven't heard from it in a while. So why can't I go onto my phone Purchase a a ticket, pay I for agree. it, to travel to a different planet on b- the public okay. transit systems that they've said that are going to exist. So that my I can counter join you to, to play. that is, why should I bother logging in to play the game when I can just play it from my phone and not ever Could, bother logging in? Because you can't play you it. You can't earn anything. You can't. You've just you just said you played it. You've got no. well, you're spending money. But the only thing you're no. doing is going from one spot to another spot, and that's all you can do. Transit. Well. Just trans- I think Let's- if you set your character up to be, you know, to go on to a transport before you log out, fine. But I do not think you should do any interacting with your character while you are offline. I disagree, because... Well, you're a git. I can no, understand right. where David's coming from, though. Because oh. if he's at... Like, just, just let, hear me out. Like, I can understand, because David's at work. You message him and say, would you like to play in a couple hours? And he's like, I could but it would take me an hour to even get where where you are and then you know i might not have enough time right nothing if if that's We're just not, ways to say, okay send play. my character over to mars and so by the time he gets home he can get right on and jump into a into a session with you and you guys can play and have the full time you need like does that make so sense what's going to happen to his character if that ship is attacked while he's dead well while he's i died like they're you, I feel like I, there would have to be concessions for that. And I think that you would accept the risk when you purchase the, the mm. ticket. People don't accept responsibility for their actions in this day and age. Are you kidding me? I do. You're in the minority then, because I tell you now, if someone did that and they were killed while they are offline, they'd be fucking livid and going to see... Oh, fuck you! They've cost me my fucking game! This is a rip off your assholes! I bet you they would. They probably would, and then CIG would say there's a warning disclaimer on the ticket that you bought saying that your Again, character... you're asking people to take responsibility for their actions, and they don't like that. No, see, they, they don't, and you're right. And I'm asking the rest of us as responsible people to start standing up to those people who are irresponsible little gits and say no. No, you are wrong. Sit the hell down, go in the corner, and stop being such a prick. Now, it's great in theory, but these little cocksnots will never accept that. (laughs) My character died while I was offline. You should refund me. Okay, who's to say that you can't say, Jim, you want to play with Dave? You can't make it to where you are without spending an hour getting there. What if he was well, able he to be. make a group session with you, but it's under warning that, okay, well, any of the progress you do in this group session might not be saved because you didn't take the time to transit where you needed to, but we understand that you want to play with your buddy tonight, but you can't quite get there in the time needed. I can get behind him being able to get onto a transport, log out, transport does its thing, and then when he wakes up, when he it, logs it back in, it's wherever the transport landed him. But it, I think you should initiate that in game. It won't be enough though, because it, it they them getting rid of that system and getting rid of agent smithing and having the extremely long, quite frankly, unreasonably long transit times that they do have essentially made it so I will not be playing Star Citizen with anyone period like it's just not going to happen and i'm still thinking that it will there yeah i think i still think it'll all just get ironed out and they have they have to because 
yeah. Who's to say that they're not going to implement a system like, oh, I can't remember the show, but anyway, your consciousness gets downloaded into an AI. So walking, talking, you know, lost. animated person. It's a show I watch. And anyway, you are transited from one end to another, put into an artificial body. Why Dark would matter. I need that's a what it was in the first place. Uh, then that's Agent Smithing, essentially. That's, yeah, that's Agent yeah. Smithing, which is I. If they, but why can't you? Why they can't you? Because then you can make it from Mars to wherever he is in time. Apparently, yeah. CIG don't want that. Well, we don't know. We don't know. Don't know. We haven't heard. Well, well, yeah. We haven't heard about it in a while. It's there. They have to have some way to allow Definitely. us to play together. I mean, they have to get to the point where yeah, where um, NPCs are actually like, how functional. how easy is it right now to meet up with someone in verse? Right now, no, um, not terribly hard. One system, not even one. Minutes. It's not even one. How long? Fifteen minutes. Yeah, depends on what ship you're flying. Yeah, and that's this is one system. Yep. <clears throat> so what happens when there's a hundred systems and you have to? Cross twenty systems to meet up with someone you want. It will not happen. There's going to be. Not, there will I, definitely be a point at which you cannot get back. Yeah, I feel like they're going to have to create a system that is faster to yeah. get yes. you where you need to go. Just because it's like, well, you're not going to play if you're yeah. never able to meet up with Shiver because time zones are too hard to navigate yeah. between the hours he can play and you can play. Yep. Well, and the other thing is, like, I, I think there, I think there definitely has to be a point at which you, there's just simply no way you can get back. Um, even if you did create like an offline transport system, because like if your if your idea for your character is I'm going to go out and like explore the fringes of the known galaxy, maybe you can't get back for the battle tomorrow. <laughs> you know? and, and that's that's fine. Like there should be the transit time should be still the time it takes you to transit in game it shouldn't be instant or anything yes. but there How needs about, to be another way of doing it go shiver if there was an online uh, uh, sorry an offline transit system yeah. that you have to pay a premium on sure uh, but it doesn't carry you in the game world you just disappear out of the game world essentially for x amount of time that it calculates it will take you to get there then you can't then you're you know you can't be attacked or have anything bad done to your character while it's happening but you have paid that premium and it's going somewhere. That that okay. Um, I'll I'll go for that. Fine. Yep. I just feel like a lot of this pre-planning thing because for you guys to even play together, Shiv would have to say to you on like Monday, yep. "Hey, let's game on Thursday." Okay, let's shoot for that, and then it ends up not happening, and then you just transited your character over the week to where you need to go just to have to go back again. Yeah. Yep. And that's just inconvenient, and that's going to drive people away. Yeah, there it is, Bryce Serena. That's messed up. I was looking forward to that because I wanted to see people get really messed up and go, ah, and then suddenly they're not character. But either way, we're going to have to more clarification on that because their whole yeah. entire drive is to get people to play together. Friends grouping up, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and it's of course, going to be really hard for me to play with David sometimes and David to play with Shiv or me to yep. play with Shiv because he's UK, you're Eastern, I'm Mountain. Like, it's even and two hours spread sometimes. And across 100 systems. Well, like, even now, how hard is it for us to to play a game together, David? We're two hours apart. I know. I know. But and by the time I'm ready, it's like 10, 11 o'clock your time. Which is so why you're headed to bed. By the time you're ready to play, I've got exactly a half hour of game time in me, right? Pretty much. Like it's. Yeah. And this is this is the point that I've been trying to make is that I I feel like in a lot of things in the transit time in in the agent smithing in no offline travel, um, CIG are doing one of the things that Chris actually said a long time ago that they would not do and that they're taking the they are taking the side of realism over fun which is something that Chris always said that there would they're going to try for realism but where the realism isn't fun they would break it in the interest of fun and I feel like they have lost that when well, then they're going to have to revamp travel time because no one's going to want to sit there for an hour and wait for them to get to destination B. I know. 
Yep. The thing is, though, like it's one of those things. It takes them like three seconds to fix that. Oh yeah, it's they could difficult. fix it in an in done. Like faster than it takes to travel a system. <laughs> hey, I could go run the Boston Marathon faster than it takes to travel a system. Ooh. Does that include the time it takes to get there? No. Oh. I just like to point out. I'd like to point out to Mister Super Serious too. You guys managed to meet every week for a podcast. You should sacrifice that to play. Well, two hours or an hour and a half a week versus finding two or three hours throughout the week around real life stuff is really difficult when you've got people that work shifts and people that are in different time zones. It's it's more plus, difficult than you plus think. Plus, I enjoy doing this podcast. Yeah, I don't want to sacrifice a podcast for. Uh, playing together. In yeah, a, who wants to play with you guys? <laughs> let's sit here and talk about a game. <laughs> okay, let's do this quickly. Tessa Bannister asks, "When will we get more in-depth scanning mechanics? The scanners we have aren't enough for me to scan for deep space anomalies. Probably with exploration." Yeah, I'm guessing. Yep. Along with the exploration mechanics, yeah. Ashley asks, "Shiver, what would those players do when they get attacked on a star liner while they're online?" Fight, Fight back! back. They get boarded. Jump are out, you, you coward. Have, are you allowed to have guns on this Starliner? They can take my guns, but they can... Well, shit. Break the seat um, apart and shank someone with the leg. Vestas Rock, paper, asks... Scissors. What does buying tickets to move around offline do to bounty hunting? Yeah, that's a good question. Maybe they... Well, you know what we still don't have? Makes it so, harder. Let's let's I, I I will make one point. One thing that we still don't have are uh, jump points. So maybe random jump points will make it easier to move from. I don't know. I it, it's fucked. They need to fix their transit, and I need to fix my cold. Yes, um, and it's the end of the show. It is the end of the show. Thank you now so you much. Now you can go die on the couch for a while. I actually can't. I've got to go to Cass's parents for dinner. What? I feel like they're not going to want your germy self over there. I know I'd be like, dude, keep your sickness at home. Um. Uh. Yeah, that's up to Cass, not me. Cass um, is probably going to say, stay home, David. You're going to be he, miserable there and you're going to make me miserable. She will not say that. Um. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out and watching. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sorry that this was a trade. <laughs> Thank you all for coming and, and watching. We appreciate you and your time taking. And out sorry that David can't English anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. And go, go watch the Astro Pub. Go watch the Astro Pub, Stormy. Thank you so much for showing up with. Like thank you. I like I like twelve seconds of notice. Yeah. It makes me cover up all my laundry all nicely <laughs> in the background. It's mm -hmm. perfect. So it I'll pretend I folded it. Have a great week, everyone. We'll see you in the verse if we ever figure out how to get to wherever in the verse you are. Well I'll never and no one will ever reach Shiv. He's too far away. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs>